is about what you need for outerwear with this new season coming in. Fall and winter outerwear. So I'm going to give you a few ideas, a few um, staples that I have for the fall and winter season that's coming up. I'm going to start with some blazers. I love a velvet blazer. I have a regular blazer as well, but velvet blazers and this royal blue and this burgundy, it just adds a little pop because of the texture, because it's velvet, as well as the vibrant jewel tone colors. This is great with dress pants, skirts, jeans, if you want to dress them up with boots. And then, of course, I have a regular blazer. This is a black blazer with ruching at the elbow. So, of course, you always need a good black blazer to wear over dang near anything. So, you always got to have a staple as a black blazer. But don't forget to incorporate some fun blazer into your life. Um, I also have a black satin trench coat. Um, this is a dressy trench coat. So, maybe if you're going out at night and it's getting cold because that's when the temperature drops because you're dressed up, this is one that you can wear versus wearing your everyday coat at night. This is a wrap, basically a gigantic sweater, but what I do is wear it and I put a belt around it to cinch it and put a shirt underneath, so this is a great layering piece to wear, especially as we transition, where it's not too cold yet, but it's not too hot, this is a great transition piece. Here's another blazer, but it has a little leather detail. It's also in a great jewel, bright pink color. So make sure that along with your staple blazers, you have some fun blazers in there with either some detail or maybe a pop of color. Here's another um, staple. I wear this as like a little blazer, but it's really a lightweight leather jacket, but it's a great, again, layering piece. It doesn't keep you extremely warm when it gets cold, cold, but as a fall piece, it's great. Wear it again with jeans, skirts, pants, Shirts underneath. Sometimes, though, I'll wear this and just zip it up and wear it as a leather top. Just depending. Of course, everybody needs a leather bomber jacket, preferably in black leather. Um, it's always a good choice. It goes with everything. I have another black leather jacket, but since I'll be traveling, I've already packed that up. So this is my, like, motorcycle version compared to my other black leather jacket, which is just simple and sleek, clean lines. Then I have a throwback, as I call it, my Pam Greer black not black, sorry, chocolate brown trench. It's like a short trench. It has a little bell. And it's got like a vintage 70s vibe to it. And the 70s trend is in, so I love that. It's chocolate brown, so I can wear it with all my creams and chocolate browns. And not have to wear black with everything. Here's another fun trench for me. This is a pink leather trench. I even have little pink leather gloves to go with it. But um, I got this on sale one time. It's like cotton candy cake. So that was a good conversation starter. You don't have to necessarily do one in such a bright color, but um, it is a fun coat. You can always get you a trench in a cream or a neutral that you feel like you could get more wear out of it. I don't need to wear it all the time, but I do love it when I get to wear it. Suede is always great. This is in a dark green. You can also do it in a black or dark blue or wine color. But suede is in, on trend this season, as well as it's a great um, alternative to leather. And then this is another fun coat, like my pink leather. This is a brocade. Brocade is a big trend this new, um, season. Uh, and it's a new trend. It's not something that was in last season, but it's in this season. And brocade is almost like a furniture patterns or fabric, but it's in clothes now. So it can be a fun way to incorporate this trend if you're not sold completely on it. You might can do it in small doses, like in a pair of shoes or a jacket or coat. So I call this like my lady jacket, where I want to be ladylike, I throw that coat on. And of course, I got a few fun fur vests that are great for layering. You can wear over pieces. I also put it over my leather jacket sometimes, just to make this warmer. So I just wear it like this, and you have the leather sleeves. And it looks like one piece when I wear it, but it's a way to add and layer to a piece that you already have, as well as a way to add just a little bit of fur, because it's not quite cold enough for a whole fur, but when it is cold enough for a whole fur, whether you want to do faux or real, you can add a whole fur. I prefer them in neutrals because they go with a lot of stuff, and then this is like my dressier fur that I wear at night, and this is like a daytime fur that I wear during the day. I also have many other coats and um, furs in my closet, but these are just a few examples I wanted to show you of what you could be thinking about when you go shopping and knowing which ones will work best for you, go and incorporate those into your wardrobe. And if you already have some of these in your wardrobe, then make sure you wear them. 
Um, if you want personalized style tips, you can email me at lovey at loveyfashion.com. You can check out my website, loveyfashion.com, and all my social medias, lovey Easy. Um, Till next time, stay stylish from me to you. Lovey.